from Washington, this is VOA News. Secretary of State John Kerry in Doha for talks with Friends of Egypt. And after days of protests, Brazil's president holds an emergency cabinet meeting. I'm Marty Johnson reporting from Washington. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry is in Doha for meetings today with a group of foreign ministers who are backing Syrian rebels. Today's meeting in Qatar is the first session of the so-called Friends of Syria group since the U.S. announced plans to arm rebel forces trying to oust Syrian President Bashar al-Assad. Secretary says Western and Arab opponents of the Syrian president pledged to provide additional support to Syrian rebels at today's meeting, where ministers from 11 countries committed to giving rebels more military or humanitarian aid in a bid to end two years of fighting that have killed tens of thousands of Syrians. Kerry says while the U.S. is stepping up assistance to Syrian rebels, the best way to resolve the conflict would be through the negotiations. However, Qatar's prime minister has said that force and might may be necessary in order to resolve the crisis. Brazilian President Dilma Rousseff has urged calm after a week of massive protests in what demonstrators say is the government's neglect of public services, high taxes, and rampant corruption. Ms. Rousseff addressed the nation on television late last night, saying that peaceful demonstrations make a democracy strong, but she vows that protest-related violence will not be tolerated. Brazil's president held an emergency cabinet meeting earlier in the day to discuss the intensifying protest movement. Hundreds gathered in cities this Friday, including Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo. With the situation in Brazil growing increasingly intense, VOA's Brian Padden reports that concern about the safety of the upcoming World Cup games is mounting and the government's options to resolve the crisis are limited. The Brazilian government's reversal of the transport fare hikes that sparked nationwide demonstrations has done little to appease the protesters. While the demonstrations have been mostly peaceful, there have been incidents of violence and vandalism in some cities. In central Rio de Janeiro, 300,000 people marched and police afterwards chased looters and dispersed people crowding into surrounding areas. Carl Meacham, the director of the Americas program at the Center for Strategic and International Studies in Washington, says there is little the government can do in the short term to address the protesters' demands. In any democracy, change is incremental. So it's not like the government's going to be able to, you know, have a solution for all of these problems uh, from one day to the next. Brian Patton, VOA News, Washington. U.S. officials say federal prosecutors have now filed espionage charges against Edward Snowden for leaking information on top-secret U.S. surveillance programs. U.S. media officials told uh, U.S. media officials told media outlets that prosecutors have filed a sealed criminal complaint against Snowden in the state of Virginia that includes charges of espionage, theft, and conversion of government property. Documents show that Snowden leaked to media outlets information revealing U.S. intelligence agencies' uh, abilities to gather large amounts of telephone and Internet data from users around the world. President Barack Obama is calling on lawmakers to support legislation to fix the nation's broken immigration system. In his weekly address today, Mr. Obama said the immigration bill is being debated in the Senate is a compromise that strengthens border security, increases penalties against traffickers, and creates a pathway to citizenship. Opponents say it amounts to a de facto amnesty. President Obama has nominated a former Deputy Gen Attorney General under Republican President George Bush as the new director of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. VOA's Kent Klein has more on James Comey. President Obama is hoping that Comey's Republican ties and deep experience in law enforcement will help persuade the Senate to confirm his nomination to lead the FBI. 
As Deputy Attorney General, he helped lead the Justice Department with skill and wisdom, meeting the threats we know about and staying perpetually prepared for the ones that can emerge suddenly. Since leaving the Justice Department, Comey has been an executive at a defense company and general counsel to a Wall Street hedge fund, among other roles. Comey would replace Robert Bob Mueller, whose 10-year term as FBI director began the week before the terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001. Kent Klein, VOA News, the White House. And in Canada, heavy flooding in the western province of Alberta has killed at least two people and forced tens of thousands of residents to flee their homes. Calgary, the hardest hit, 100,000 people displaced. This is VOA News, Washington.